reduced to clear margarita. That's it, got some corn eggs and chicken sandwiches. So I think, oh, oh, the OG corn mayo. Your choice, I'm gonna pick you one up. Sweet potato, pokora, chicken avocado, ham cheese, and coleslaw. We've got coronation chicken, sushi, chicken pie, and satay. What do you want a sandwich? Yeah, 20 grams of fat, you mad. Chicken avocado. Yeah. Oh, oats. Protein. Protein oats, that's good for it. One pound. Oh, that's so ideal. For breakfast. So we've got oats, first meal, bracky. Um, we have got chicken, so we can have some like, chicken, chicken panini. What's that? Got some turkey scissors in case we fancy double double sausage, double meat. And then we've got a snack of a, a sandwich. And we've got some yogurt just to stick the man through. Did you also get a pro mayo, buddy? Pro mayo, like the source of life. How confident do you feel about a discount pro mayo sandwich? I mean, I would eat it even if it was four or five days out of day because I feel like fish doesn't really go off. Fish, fish live long. Are you hard. mental? Compared to hens and stuff though. We need like some kind of salad. Jam butter. Go out day to day. 44 pigs. In the back. Tesco shop complete. We have got we've got oats which someone punched a hole in. They were one pound. We've got a pack of chicken, which looks like I'll probably end up with some of these and poisoning. Two pound forty two. The OG prawn sandwich at one pound seventy two. We've got another sandwich one pound seventy two for Cal. That is coronation chicken. We've got Italian wild bucket which was fifty two p. Turkey Twizzlers, got to be done. They were like 20% of the actual shop, that one, so a little bit spenny. £2.50. We've got some panini rolls, they were 64 pence. Yogurt, 62p. We've got 44 pence lettuce, which just looks dead dirty. Uh, and that's everything. So the, the total shop came to £11.48. Very interesting word that Cal talked about. I've now added to my vocabulary. Totally. These bowls of porridge, because if we um, average them out per sachet, they cost 12 pence. 12p, how about that? But we've got two, we've got three. So 18p. 18p for a bowl of porridge, like not bad. It's got a little bit of apple in, add a half a mouldy apple in the fridge so that they're technically out of date. Are you giving me a mouldy one? So it's been added to the. Hey, wait, let's have a cheers. Cheers, cheers, bro. Covid. Okay, so as job done, Carl's like, for some reason, I'm working salvaging his, his oats for in case food sometime, sometime, some point runs out. Um, I'm just adding this to my fitness pal now because we are going to track them today. I'm trying to hit 3k Carl's. <laughs> Funny enough, Carl's trying to hit 2-4. Before. So we've had one sachet and a half plus half a monkey apple 
Between, oh, there's half an apple between us, by the way. I'm not even like a full apple. I'm not gonna shock an apple. <laughs> That'd be 24 calories. But so far, we're at an absolute disgusting behavior of 218 calories for the day. In the UK, we waste 10.2 million tons of food per year. An elephant weighs about four tons on average, just to put things into perspective. From this, 1.8 million tons of waste comes from food manufacturers. 1 million comes from the hospitality sector, and 260,000 comes from retail, i.e. where we pick the food up from today. An even scarier number, 8.4 million people struggle to get enough food day to day. So, this sparks something for me today to do something about it. Hi there, I was wondering if I'd be able to come and drop a donation of food off at some point today. Yeah, of course you can, yeah, no problem at all, yeah, we're, um, we're open till about 3.30 today. Yeah, that okay? It's what you did mess it if we literally yeah, okay. We dropped a screw and therefore we just have to go through all these yeah, bags. Oh, you're joking. It went, yeah. 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 Thanks for your donation, it's really good. So how long have you been working here? Uh, I've only been here since November, so okay, I'm fairly cool. new to the team, yes, yeah. 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 Um, oh, bloody hell, there's yeah. a lot of food. <laughs> so what, what's the process of like when you're... Where does it get sent to from here? So, so it comes in the door, yeah. um, it gets sorted on the table. Like I say, it's not usually like this, we're just replacing some of the boards yeah. there. It gets off on table into the categories on that shelving unit, yeah. and then it comes through to here. So I can show you on this side. Yeah. So this this side is our picking and packing area. So it's two two aisles of food, which the volunteers literally kind of go up and down this aisle and up and down this one yeah. to collect. Um, you know, it's, it's two tins of soup, two tins of beans, etc. That go into a food parcel, and yeah. then one of these is a food parcel. So it's three days worth of emergency food for our clients. Um, so that's like a mixture of. Stuff ready to go yeah, it's a mixture. Yeah, it's um, it's all long life food um that we'll do for three days, so it's to come as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. And then well. yeah, so, so the way that we work is we, we're not doing deliveries. We um we use uh, seven different distribution centres around Salford. So somebody, a client that's got a food voucher that needs a food parcel, comes comes with a voucher and swaps the voucher for a food parcel. Do the customers like sign up to? Be able to um, it's, it's a voucher referral system, that's okay. the way it works, because we're under the Trussell Trust, right. which is like a network of food banks, <coughs> yeah. um, so they need to get themselves a voucher, and that can be through kind of different agencies around Salford, so it's um, things like housing offices, social workers, health visitors and things that are able to give a voucher, oh, cool. um, and then yeah, they're, they're, like I say, seven centres around Salford where people come and pick up the food, so they don't in theory come here to pick up yeah. the food, right. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us around anyway. Yeah, I'm seriously, thanks so much. I'm shake your hand, but obviously. That's <laughs> COVID. Yeah. Of the day. Price this one is 62p for the two pieces of the bread, which brings it to really 31p. Quick maths. Boom. Chicken. I put the price up on the screen. I also put the calories up on the screen because I'm not quite sure what they were. But I am struggling today for calories because we only ate like 218 this morning, so we've got some catching up to do. And before I forget as well, the receipt in a small bowl. The donation that we made to the food centre came to a very Satisfying. £50.26 and we were trying to hit the £50 marker by not even adding it up as we were shopping around. So, extremely good eye. Mmm. Love to do a big mouthful full of bread with no meat. I'm just in the middle of scrolling through an app 
After the screen, we've got this for you so you can see it. So the app is called Too Good To Go. It's basically an app which focuses on food waste in the local area, so you can kind of put in where about you live. And it'll pop up with like a load of foods from like spas, Tesco's, Costa, and it'll pop up a load of food places that you can get food from, which is about to go off. So I am in the midst of choosing Barbary O. So this is one of the apps which cuts down on the wastage of food from retail, which we know is massive. Also, if you have a business, you can sign up to this as well because it massively helps reduce food wastage. So what is going on at the moment, there is a burrito. The way it works is you go on and you can click on something and it allows you to pick like a goodie bag. What you do is you click on it and it gives you basically like a magic bag. Hit reserve and it reserves your order for you. And there we go, you've got to go and collect them 40. They haven't gone to the realm of delivery yet. Go, the gold UK. This feels like a pretty weighty bag to be fair. Mm. Because if it didn't go on the gram, it didn't happen. Yeah, good filter, angles. There we go. Operito. On the gram. Okay, what have we got? Oh, it's like Christmas. The magic bag. Ooh. We've got some Mexican. Yeah, that's my fucking food label. It smells chippy. Oh, we got chips. Lukewarm. Oh, we've got some kind of sauce. Oh wow, we've got a burrito. It feels girthy. You want you you want to see this close up? Whoa, would you look at the girth of that thing? <laughs> I this is the part that I always get wrong because you're only supposed to open one end, and I always end up taking the whole thing, circumcising it. So we're going to try and do it right. We're going to peel across this line just to expose the helmet. Look at the girth. Mmm. Chicken. White rice, definitely. Very cheesy. Definitely some guac. I think it's just a shit mix of everything. Which is exactly what we need right now. Right, stand the other side. Do the Gandalf bit, what's the main Gandalf bit? Your bossy sir. But we are on to the final bit of the day. We're actually watching Lord of the Rings, in case you hadn't guessed that and you were absolute weirdo and hand high and only for rock I'd never seen the trilogy of a lifetime. Calories left today in the bank. I've actually got like 700 calories left. For some weird reason. Oh no, I haven't because I haven't put the sauce in. That is why. Sauce. I don't know what sauce it was, so I'm just gonna guess to me. As we usually do. So we've got 600 calories left, which means foods we have left are a G value. Uh, what calories in this? Can I try it? Okay, you can. Per 100 grams is 100 calories. Basically, how many grams in this tub? But every that, isn't it? It's is a fake. Yeah, but that's good because I need to get the calories in. A little bit reduced. This was 69p. Why are you taking that off? So I can see how many grams the tub is. It'll be 500 grams. 450. That basically takes some of my calories. Can I try it too? Yeah, that's good. Now, this, I'm going to have some of those oats that I have. Where are the oats from? They're in that box. I'm going to put some oats into it as well. I try first. I try. It's not very full, isn't it? A little bit of a scam they've got you there. That's not full before you. No, it's not there. Show everybody how little you've got in your thing. It's still quite full. It's just, that's not full. If we'd have been debating, what would you do if you're in Lord of the Rings? What would your strategy be? Really? Well, just, there's, just, there's your sword, right? Okay. Battle for Middle Earth. Three, two, one. Action. What was the job? Punch it. Punch what? The orc. Yeah. Its head will go back and whilst its head's back. What the fuck? It's dry. Stop it. <laughs> well, that's a great that's idea. That's the end of the video. We're Wait, end of the video. Can you imagine? And I won't hold that. And if I went, your head would go back and then I'd stop. Yeah, but I'd move and go, and slice. I'd duck. What do you want to do again? Slow moving duck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Get me the wings. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's the end of the video. This is going to take us to 3,000 calories. I actually really enjoyed today's video. I think it's always nice to be nice to other people. I think it's always to do something nice. It just makes you feel good um, when you have, or when you can be generous and you can give to charity and you can help other people. It just, it's a nice thing to do. I think it makes you feel positive. I think it makes you feel mentally healthy as well. Um, it was also nice to pick up foods. Like those foods that we picked up today will last me about three days. So if you kind of like fed the shopping list, it probably actually cost me three pound. The burrito food was, uh, I think like a fiver. So overall today may have cost me like seven, eight pound. That's with ordering out as well. And obviously just how to pick up foods out, out of date or going out of date because it just gets binned anyway. Obviously the, the amount that we've been in the UK with food is absolutely horrendous and we need to be more mindful of what we're doing. It's made, it certainly made me more mindful. If you enjoyed the video and made you mindful, then make sure to give it a, what are we giving it? Big thumbs up. <laughs> and a like, that's a small thumbs up. And if you're not already, then please could it do me a big favour. Subscribe! See you on the thunder. Only 72%, I'm oh, sorry, only 28% of the people who watched the last video are actually subscribed. So it'd mean a lot. You hit that subscribe button, even hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Why would you pick the apple? Because I'm not even eating apples. Now everyone's going to think I'm eating apples. What do you mean? I've got no apples to eat. It's not in the day. That's for me. With two apples. Yeah, but that was over there. I think we just picked it up, but I don't think it's apples. Like. Dump in the jump for the shit, all top when I speak, all cap with the speech to the cut up in the rapture.